Welcome back, everyone. For those of you just joining us or watching on YouTube in the future and watching just this video, essentially, um, my name is Knight of St. Traft. I'm going to be playing some very, very grindy uh, four-color gifts decks today, uh, or deck today, I should say, and this thing is pretty awesome. So um, if you weren't watching on the stream or haven't seen the stream earlier, the uh, Traverse Death Shadow deck, excuse me, um, I was mentioning how this deck essentially, uh, I just took, I changed the mana base a little bit. I think I changed like one land out and put a new one in. Um, and then I changed uh, the all of the Abrupt Occasion, now Assassin's Trophies. I dropped a couple Path Exiles for some Fatal Pushes. Uh, and then dropped one of the Hand Attack spells, maybe? I dropped something. So essentially the way that this deck works, um, and it and it looks kind of... Oh, and I changed the sideboard quite a bit, too. Um, but one of the things, one of the ways that this, deck's works, this deck works is that uh, essentially it is a... Um, very tutor active deck. So what basically what that means is the only four of card that we're playing is Gifts Ungiven right here. Um, the rest of the deck is a lot of one or two ofs, um, and it kind of looks a little random. Like our fatal or like look at our removal spells, right? We have three fatal push, one path to exile, one dismember, one maelstrom pulse, three assassins trophies. We have damnation, supreme verdict, and wrath of God. Um, we have uh, a couple of Lingering Souls, a couple of Remands, uh, a couple of snap ca Snapcaster Mages. We have two Inquisitions, two Thought Seasons, a Raven's Crime, a Life from the Loam, etc., etc. This deck has a lot of fun ofs um, sitting either both here or in the sideboard. Uh, the sideboard has a couple of extra removal spells, some things that gets burned, like Timely Reinforcements, Collective Brutality, three Stony Silences, because this card is just stupidly nuts, stupidly good. Uh, we also have Knight of Souls Betrayal, which is really good against a lot of different decks. Um, Mardu Pyromancer, uh, Affinity, all that stuff. We have a Jace the Mind Sculptor, a Memricide to, to basically just hose combo decks. Um... This is like Surgical Extraction, except you just like name a non-land card, and then you get everything from it. Um, and then Celestial Purge just handles uh, opponents' lilies, etc. Extra, you know, Thoughtseize for the decks we need those against, etc. This this deck is very, very interesting. It, it functions very weirdly, but it does work quite a bit. Um, and so one of the things you'll see here, probably later in this stream, or in this league at least, is that... Um, Gifts Ungiven states, you know, three and a blue instant, search your library for up to four cards with different names, reveal them. An opponent chooses two and they go to the graveyard and the rest go to your hand. So what that means is because it says up to four and it's not exactly four, you can choose only two cards or three cards. Um, and in doing so, your opponent has to choose two of them and they go to the graveyard. So if you, let's say, uh, grab... Um, like, you can grab, like, Raven's Crime, Life from the Loam, and a land. Uh, it doesn't matter what land. And you can sit there and start Raven's Criming your opponent to death. Because uh, it doesn't matter which one they give you. The other ones will always be within grasp. Um, and then you have, like, uh, you can grab three Wrath Effects that you need and just cast whichever one they give you. Um, but what you can also do... And one of the tricks that people, some people know about, some people don't, is that you can grab, you can use a barrel, you can use gifts and given to grab just unbarrel rights and another creature like Elish Norn or Iona, and then you can, and they both have to go to your graveyard. So then you flash back unbarrel rights targeting whatever threat you just put into your graveyard uh, for only four mana and reanimate it right away, um, and that's kind of the the big turn here is that we can, like, Elish Norn is very, very strong. It stops a lot of aggro decks um, kind of dead in their tracks. It actually can hose humans pretty pretty easily, which is kind of hilarious. Iona shuts down combo decks, control decks. Um, <clears throat> if you play Iona against Burn and name Red, they basically can't win the game, um, assuming they don't have any, like, if they have, like, Pact Exiles, that's kind of interesting, but a lot of Burn decks don't even play Path to Exile, so it's whatever. Um, so anyway, this deck is really interesting, and we're going to see quite a bit of the interesting play lines with it. So 
We are going to jump into a league and hopefully see some sweet stuff. And hopefully not just go like 03 and drop out of here. All right. Playing a league match. Not a whole lot of trophies. I mean, I guess it did just start. So... All right, my opponent's been found. Hopefully we can jump in here and have some sweet, sweet games of Gifts Ungiven. So I've only played this deck uh, a couple of times um, sort of off stream, and I've switched it up quite a bit since then, but I have really, really enjoyed it. So it's just a ton of fun. So this hand, uh, well, I mean, it's good against aggro decks, but like Liliana is a decent threat. Um... And eventually, if this game goes long, which is what we want, then we should be A-OK. -okay. And turn one Marsh Flats probably doesn't signal our opponent anything. They could think that we are on something like Mardu Pyromancer, um, which is probably the most common one. Um, but obviously, that's not the case. So, Although we do cast Lingering Souls. We do not have any red, which is kind of the main color of Mardu Pyromancer. My opponent stuck on my main phase. Okay. Oh, boy. They're either playing Mill or a Meme. And if they're playing a Meme, they're playing this very wrong. Uh, did they mulligan? If they mulligan down to six... Nope, they kept their hand. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, before this league, I probably should have restarted Moto there. It's going to be pretty slow moving. And it looks like Overgrown Tomb might be the way to go. But I guess, yeah, we with Marsh Flats into Overgrown Tomb, we're probably going to look like Abzan. Which, to be fair, I guess with the Marsh Flats, we're probably going to play on turn two. It'll look the same. Overgrown Tomb. No. Oh, they're on Mill. That might be really bad for my opponent. Let me see what you've got. Oh my gosh. Um, ooh, mission briefing. I like it. Probably just take Mesmeric Orb. Pass turn. My graveyard. Oh, I have Raven's Crime. Let's see. My Godless Shrine is gone. Is my Watery Grave gone? I, I can't. I can't see this here. Watery Grave. Doesn't look like it. One of my gifts is gone, though, which sucks. Nope. Okay, there we are. I mean, I could just start Raven's Craving my opponent. I have a lot of lands. Maybe that's okay. My life total probably doesn't matter super hard in this matchup, at least not in game one. So, yes, Raven's Crime, target you, discarding an island. Got rid of the mission briefing. They played Watery Grave. Glimpse me, sure. Okay. Raven's Crime is in there. Doesn't look like Umbero Rights is in there yet.
I think I just play Lily plus discarding Supreme Verdict because it's not doing anything this game. So we know the two cards in their hand. Yep. Now they've got a bunch of cards in hand. They go land. Hmm. We're kind of on a mill plan ourselves, so. Plus, discard Fatal Push. Play land. Pass. My opponent's stuck on my main phase. Oh no, their main phase. I apologize. Sure. Alright, Path to Exile not doing anything. Vision, sure. Fraying sanity. Sure. Each player discards, discard Alice Norn. They discard, I apologize if it looks like there's like drop frames. It's not actually drop frames on my end. I don't think at least. It's, uh, Moto is having a bit of a freak out. Glimpse, sure. Okay, I've got a Lingering Souls. There's Iona, there's Umbera Rights. Okay, they're both in there. So I need to plus Lily first. No, no replacement effect. Activate Shell Dock Isle. Um, sure. If it's surgical extraction, I'll be pretty upset. Not gonna lie. Of course it is. Wow. Targeting lingering souls? Oh, you're 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 dumb. That's really funny. Okay. I think they're dead. My opponent must have missed the unbarrel rights uh, Iona combo here. We didn't even have to cast gifts on given. I might, uh, I'm probably going to restart Moto at the end of this game here, during sideboarding. Just because it's having a bit of a freak out. What do we got? Another surgical... Targeting... Rights. <sighs> of course.
first their two cards are surgical extraction. Wow. All right. Okay. I'm going to restart Moto here. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> hmm. We don't really have anything for the mill matchup. It turns out this isn't something we very frequently play against. Collective Brutalities might be fine, just like an extra duress effect. Pad to Exile, Fatal Push, um, Dismember. Yeah, actually, you just cut like all of the removal that we have that we don't need. We probably don't need any of the like, Wrath effects either. Oh boy. Bring in Terastodon. Bring in Memoricide. We just do not have tools for this. Uh, I guess bring in Spellskite in case they have, because they're probably going to bring in removal. Yep, I can keep this one. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> I take Surgical, because it's the only card we kind of lose to. So they played Foily Hedron Crab and their Watery Grave. And they have a Sheldock Isle, a couple of cards... Oh, we're not doing much. I probably should have played the fetch land there. Just to play around, like, archive trap. Because they're going to have more draws to maybe get one. Sure. Yep. Oh, I should have just played the Marsh Flats to go get, well, not Goblet Shrine. I think my plan here is to just reanimate something big and stupid. So...
Yep. Okay, I know one card in hand. Likelihood of them having it right here. Pretty high, right? Memory side, I'm going to name Path to Exile. Oh, they probably don't play Path, right? They probably have some other form of removal. But I could just name Glimpse and take it out of their hand. I could just name Surgical. Let's see what you got. Ashiok, Crypt Incursions, okay, and Snaring Bridge, sure. Detention Sphere is a good removal spell. You do have Path to Exiles, so they are in the white version. All right. Yep, I knew that they had Field of Ruin. They had Field, Another Land, and something else. Oh, and Glimpse of the Unthinkable. What have you got? Do I just gifts here, or do I souls souls? I get on burial rights to Rastodon. That seems pretty hot. Hmm. Or do I just like wait for their end step gifts for Iona and something else? Oh, I left Elishnorn in too. That'd be pretty funny. Um, sure. I'm okay with that. Do you have, like, an Archive Trap in hand? That really suck for me, actually. There's Milling V6. Shellbock Isle. Surgical. Oh, Glimpsy Unthinkable. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, there's Iona. Just whatever. All right, you got me. Jeez, that was a quick one. Turns out we aren't really tooled for mill. We don't have a good sideboard against it. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? And not against mill. Um, yeah, this hand is pretty good. If it's against an aggro deck, this hand is insane. If this is against control, then this hand sucks. But I'm hedging my bets.
Island? Okay. That's not very good for me, I don't think. Opt, sure. If this is storm, maybe it's okay. Oh, no. That is super bad for me. I mean, I guess I could start, like, if this resolves. Yeah, I'm never winning this game. Not with this hand. Okay, against control, we actually have tools, though. So, oh, no, Celestial Purge is really bad. What am I doing? Maybe Collective Brutalities, Jace. Um, I don't think Terastodon's very worth it. But we don't need these Wrath effects, I don't think. We probably definitely don't need these Fatal Pushes. I don't need... This dismember. Probably don't. Well. No. Wrath I got coming out. It's fine. Maybe. Spell. Skite. Or another. Yeah. Just a Terastodon. Like. Damnation Supreme Verdict seems fine. Drawing them is going to really suck. But like. I know that sometimes these decks bring in. Um, like the angels and stuff. That we have to fight through. So. Okay, yeah, the sand is fine. Ooh, down to five, that's not good. Oh, and a plane's on turn one? Let's see what you got going on, opponent. Are you a different deck than you thought I was? Oh, Wall of Omens. Okay, so this is like blue-white mid-range. Maybe even Jeskai mid-range. But on two, I probably want to get rid of Negate, right? Or their Wall of Omens is going to be their next play. I can just take the Wall of Omens. I forgot that I was on the play. I should have taken the gate. That was really dumb of me. Uh, why did I do that? I don't understand what I'm doing. I assume they know that this is a trick. I don't have anything, opponent. I'm not going to pack to negation you. This isn't legacy I can't force of will. Got as much as I want to. Negate. Sure. And they drew another land. I shouldn't have auto yelled. That's fine. They're probably going to take gifts. Yep. I'm making a bunch of mistakes here. So I'm really dumb. I apologize. Well, that was good.
logic knot. Ooh. Sure. They have two cards in hand, and I know actual none of them. I think if you slam to Fury right now, you lose the game. Well, actually, no. Teferi could tuck Iona. And you get to untap, so. I don't know why I didn't reman the Teferi. That was really dumb of me. Um, sitting here, like, waiting for that. Um, am I stupid? I don't understand what I just did right there. What is wrong with me? I just make so many stupid mistakes. Ugh. God, I'm just so dumb. Yep. <sighs> Just whatever. I'm dead. I got it. God, I'm such. Oh! I have a breeding pool in my deck, right? Sure do. I'm just such an idiot. And this hand does nothing. It has the combo pieces in hand, which sucks. This one might be really quick. <sighs> Good news is if I ever cast this uh, gifts I'm given. My opponent is likely to not be able to win just because I can 
on Bill writes Iona named Black, and then they can't ever kill it. Yeah. Gosh, just I'm frustrated. I was so stupid. Why? What? I don't understand why you would ever do that, but... Let's start going after your hand, I guess. This one might be really quick due to just complete frustration. So I apologize. Perfect. No double black for for Lily. I'm going to take a hit from this Tarmacoif. Thankfully, Remand, I guess, will help buy me a turn. Hopefully, I draw land. Yep. No. We're not doing this. Another gift's ungiven. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Yep, I'm going to take three. The real question is, do I... I probably just take Iona, right? And then name Black, and then they can't really kill it? Are they playing a Delve Threat? Yeah, sure. And the next turn I can Lily minus whatever's left after they attack here. <clears throat> I mean, if they have like four collective brutalities in their main, they could just like double collective brutality me. Mm-hmm.
What is my opponent doing? Conceding. Got it. Okay. So against these type of decks, the hand attack usually comes out. It's really bad. We just play things that are more to the board, essentially. Um, Slaughter Pact is okay against, like, Tarmogoyf. Um, Celestial Purge. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Terastodon. One of these timely reinforcements, maybe? That's probably okay. It probably does something, at least. And the rest of this deck is designed really well to fight things like this. So. All right. Alrighty, let's do this. This hand is really land heavy. Um, it's got removal spell and a couple wraths, but that doesn't really do anything. This hand is a little bit better. It'd be better if, like, these lands actually did things with that. Yeah, I'll top that. That That's fine. Terrasted on in our opener kind of sucks. This hand could very easily be picked apart, though. So, that's not good for us. Must be really difficult, I guess. Dismember? Sure. Interesting. I wonder if they were checking the top card of my... Or to see whether or not I top or bottom to my scry. Just because my hand was pretty weak with just the Overgrown Tomb Tectonic Edge. So, scoos, sure. What have we got? Collective Brutality? I think just draining me is so, like, weird here. I don't understand why they would do that.
Like, there's no point in just... I guess if you have extra cards in hand, maybe, but, like, I just don't see the point in that. Maybe shouldn't have auto yielded right there. I could have fetched, played Snapcaster, dismembered the scavenging goose. It's all good. I don't think I'm winning this game. This my hand was very bad. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to cast that. You you messed that one up. I've got nothing else going on. I might as well. Um, sure. I think you are going to die to the creatures that I have in play, but that's totally fine. Blue, black, one. Like, I think you're just super dead to these creatures that I have. I think Leyline is very bad. All these people jumping onto the the green black X decks, they just don't understand how to play them. Like no offense to anyone who's trying to get into it, but like 
I think that what my opponent is doing is very wrong. I, A, don't like Leyline in the deck. I think Leyline is very bad. Um, and the main reason for that is just, I think Leyline is really crappy in multiples. And that deck can have a huge problem with it. Oh, I should have activated that. That's fine. It doesn't actually change the clock at all. Trophy, my creeping tar pit. Um, sure. Okay. Let's see if we got a couple more wins in us, huh? I'm sorry that the commentation has kind of died in this one. Um, I've got some conversations going on off screen that uh, I'm trying to also mitigate. So I'm kind of half paying attention, half paying attention to that. So uh, I apologize. Um, and I... I promise that I am trying to do better at that kind of thing. Um, right now, I know that my stream has kind of died down. Uh, it's a little hard to do, and I've, I'm, we're still kind of in the moving process. But by the end of the month, it should be back to or at a place that I really enjoy it. So I apologize if there's anything weird that it feels like like that. Um, but if anyone is watching either now or uh, on YouTube, I really appreciate it. I thank you guys. Um, you guys really keep me doing this. I have a ton of fun playing it, no matter how many times I make mistakes. Um, I just really love playing Magic. I love streaming and I love talking about it, all that stuff. So, um, My name is Austin. I go by the name of Knight of St. Draft, and I'm here playing... Four Color Gifts, and uh, if you like this stream or many of my others, which are all on my YouTube channel, um, youtube.com forward slash Night of St. Draft, you can find all that stuff there, uh, then I'd really appreciate it if you would hit the follow button here or the subscribe button on YouTube, etc. Uh, there's a link between my Twitch stream to my YouTube channel and vice versa, so um, thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. And I I kept this hand. Uh, I was kind of shilling, so I didn't really talk about exactly why. But this hand um, is super bad to Amulet Titan. Am I about to get Amulet Titaned? Okay. All right. That's super bad for me. Um. Well. Let's see what you got going on, opponent. Packed Ancient Stirrings Mind Slaver. What? Excuse me? Um, I guess this is just like an insane card. I don't understand your accent. Uh, okay, well, we're going to take the Ancient Stirrings. And we're just going to yield through this turn. Yield through this one. And then we will Assassin's Trophy the crap out of the Simic Growth Chamber. And set our opponent back quite a bit. Most likely to the Stone Age. Actually, should I hold on to it? Until they like, well, no, I should just do it now because they are going to summoners packed for a prime time. 
and that just like physically doesn't matter. Sure, I don't think you can do anything with that, but okay. Yep, you have another cement growth chamber. Do I just do it again? Probably, right? Let's get that out of here. Fatal push, likely not doing anything else. Killing his plant token. Sending a message. Two summoner's packs. Okay. Alright, so that was the draw this turn. There's the Summoner's Pact. Okay, they played this, they played the forest, so, nope, yep, so those are the three cards in their hand, they have to pay four mana this turn, they can do it, which is good for them, they're lucky I didn't, well, Assassin's Trophy still wouldn't have mattered, unless they don't have any more forests, so, Pajukabog, me, dang it. Summoner's Pack, sure. Get Primeval Titan. Yep. Casting the Prime Time. Prime Time with Mind Slaver seems hilarious. By the way. Interesting. Well, that fatal push isn't doing anything, but I'm getting rid of your prime time. Oh, I should have just plussed. That was really dumb of me. Because now I can get mind slavered. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, I can't just, like, murder me. And they have to pay four man four mana next turn, so this and Mind Slaver, by the way, pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Did not see that as an option. I think it's very funny. 
That's a mind slaver. Come on, way to kill it. Gifts I'm given. Well, that's not going to do it. Probably going to lose this game. And losing this game, I don't know if I can actually beat this matchup. Um, our deck is not configured as well as I wanted it to be. What is this? Mind Slaver, target me. Sure. My turn will be at your disposal. Boros Garrison, sure. Next turn, they'll play the land. They'll be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's one away from the lock. Yep, I sacrifice one of my souls. Float, mana, don't do anything. Sure. They can just keep doing it, though. This isn't the full lock, though, is it? It's just Mind Slaver. Activate Mind Slaver. Sure. Get rid of my Lily, sack my soul. Um, if it's a uh, fetch land, that's really bad. Nope. And they wouldn't play it anyway. There's no point. You need another land to make this work, though. Like, you're giving me a turn. I'm not going to sit here and watch this. Okay, probably not going to win this one. Um, Terastodon comes in, Elishnorn comes out, Memricide comes in, Thoughtseize comes in, um, Fatal Pushes come out, bring in, I guess, Collective Brutality. This is not the right configuration for anything we want. It kind of sucks. Mind Slaver. Wow. <clears throat> what a way to win with that deck. That's pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. If we draw a third land, it's really good. Pun a mulligan to six. That's good for us, I guess. Thoughtseize. Mind Slaver, Azusa. Take Azusa. Okay. Sure.
I doubt that the green has any significance, so... Not drawing a land. God. Always. <clears throat> it's just the story of my life. Sure. My opponent didn't play a land last turn. They have two in hand. Oh, they played a forest. I'm stupid. I just wasn't paying attention. They have a forest in hand. <clears throat> land. Oh, boy. Oops. Cancel remand. Well, life in the loam at least will let us play a spell and get back a land. That's frustrating. I'm going to go to eight. Which means I'm just a swift kick away from a, a Titan to be killed. So that's exciting. No, I need a draw. And that might have been the worst draw in the history of draws. Oof. Oh boy. I'm dead. I am super dead. I need to survive this turn. I need to draw a land next turn. And I need to this and Lily needs to survive this turn. Oh boy. I'm at my opponent's mercy. Do you have a way to kill me? At Lily, sure. Okay, well, I'm not dead. This was a fun one to stream. I think this might have been a mistake. Um, I didn't look at the list enough, and I really should have, because, wow. And I just got bogged. I don't really think there's a way out of this. Even drawing that land right there doesn't do anything. They can bounce Bajukabog to get whatever they need to. Although this is where my deck can excel. Okay, I was like, why are you swinging with the plant? Go get some lands.
Oh, I'm just dead. Actually. I hope my opponent sees it. I'm sure he does. You only need four mana. I go to two walking bliss to me. Yep. Good games, opponent. Wow, that was a quick one. I really should have paid more attention to this list. Um, I didn't know anything. Of, I didn't really know much about it going into it. I had only played it like once or twice, like I said. Um, the mana base feels really wonky. A lot of the sideboard cards are there because they're... I don't know why exactly. Um, the list that I took was from a GP a few years ago. Uh, and then I kind of changed it with what I thought was necessary, but I guess I didn't look too into it. Um, so this list, I, I really like four color gifts as as a deck. So don't don't take this the wrong way because I really love this deck. I think it's sweet. I think the things that it's doing are awesome and fun, but it might need a bunch of tweaking to be relevant in the current meta where linear decks kind of rule modern um so i apologize because that might not have been the most fun to watch on stream um but that's that's what we were doing today and i thought it was going to be fun so um if you guys are watching and you're still here watching all this i apologize because it sucks but thank you for sticking around at least till the end of this uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop from this league. It's getting kind of late. I haven't eaten yet. And we're 0 and or, uh, 1 and 3 after four rounds. It There's almost no point to playing out the last one other than a couple of play points. Um, and it's just not worth it to me. Uh, I kind of value my time a little bit more than that. So I, I apologize because I'd love to continue streaming and doing more. But uh, right now, I think I'm kind of done for the night. Um, this deck does not... It interests me in the sense that the deck is sweet. But it doesn't interest me in the sense that it did not perform very well. So uh, I will see you guys um, on Sunday. Uh, I'll be returning after my sort of weekend. Um, I do like D&D on Thursdays and F&M on Fridays and then more D&D on Sunday and stuff. So I don't really have time to do streams for those three days. But the rest of the week I am there. So uh, like I said before, if you were watching or if you're just watching now and just tuning in, my name is Knight of St. Draft. I am a Twitch streamer here. Uh, I stream Mikko um, almost primarily, or I stream Mikko primarily, I guess. Uh, I haven't really branched out to Hearthstone yet, but I could, I guess, if people were really interested in that. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you followed me on Twitch. Uh, doesn't cost you anything. It just helps other people find my stuff. It gets my name out there and eventually starts moving me towards that whole, you know, being able to have um, subscribers and becoming a Twitch partner and all that stuff. Um, and then if you wouldn't mind, also, there's a link under the Twitch stream that goes directly to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Night of St. Draft. Uh, please hit the subscribe button there. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I would... Really enjoy just having my name out there so I can continue streaming a bit more. Uh, near the end of the month, I will be moving. And in that process of the move, I might be out of the stream for a few days. Um, and I might have to take a couple days off of streaming, so I apologize. But during that time, while we're moving and everything, uh, or after we move, I should say, uh, I will have an actual office set up where I can actually stream a little bit more frequently and a little more comfortably. And in doing so, will hopefully not make as many mistakes and hopefully we'll be able to follow chat a little bit better and won't have to worry about it too much. So, um, thank you for, you know, allowing me this time to go through that process. Uh, it is taking a little bit, but we will get there. So, um, like I said, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to go ahead and log off for the night. Um, see you guys on Sunday. I really hope you have a great weekend, I guess, or the end of the week at least. Uh, good night.